What's going on guys, Clyde Livingston here, and I have the uh, CL89 that uh, we are going to do the first test fire on. And uh, we're here at the range, so just just got it. Pretty, it's pretty much functionally, it's finished. Um, I still have to uh, get the lock for this barrel um, set up. But for this test fire, I'm just gonna put it in a vise and then I'll be like 20 feet away. So I'm not too worried about uh, it not being locked. And, once, and when the shell's in there, it, it's, it's pretty uh, snug as far as moving it all. Um, and then, you know, I still need to finish up all the metal, make it look nice and pretty. Um, but it's pretty sweet, honestly. Um, so if I do the, the gun kits, this will be the first one. So um, let me know what you guys think, if that's something you, uh, you'd all be interested in. Um, purchasing a kit that comes with all the components needed to make this. Um, but you will need some files and a drill and uh, maybe a tap and die set to thread holes. Um, so here we go guys, I'm gonna set it up in the vise and uh, um, we'll uh, give this thing a test fire. Did it work or did it really work? Um. Everything looks fine, honestly. Oh, yeah. Mechanism still works. All right, guys. really good, dude. Yeah. All right, guys. This is the CL89. Um, still, probably have like another week of like uh, test firing and working out all the kinks, and uh, then um, once you guys let me know if I should really put together kits or not. You know, I don't want to go through all the work of um, making a bunch of kits or like making a website and all that kind of stuff. If if it's not a legitimate idea. So anyways, that's the gun. Um, let me know, like and subscribe. All right, take it easy guys.